Walter Kohn, German pronunciation, Walt Cohen, March 9, 1923 to April 19, 2016, was an Austrian-born American theoretical physicist and theoretical chemist. He was awarded with John Popel the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1998. The award recognized their contributions to the understandings of the electronic properties of materials. In particular, Cohn played the leading role in the development of density functional theory, which made it possible to calculate quantum mechanical electronic structure by equations involving the electronic density rather than the many-body wavefunction. This computational simplification led to more accurate calculations on complex systems as well as many new insights, and it has become an essential tool for material science, condensed phase physics, and the chemical physics of atoms and molecules. Early years in Canada Cohn arrived in England as part of the Kindertransport rescue operation immediately after the annexation of Austria by Hitler. He was from a Jewish family, and has written, "...my feelings towards Austria, my native land, are, and will remain, very painful." They are dominated by my vivid recollections of one and a half years as a Jewish boy under the Nazi regime, and by the subsequent murder of my parents, Solomon and Gittel Cohn, of other relatives and several teachers, during the Holocaust. I want to mention that I have a strong Jewish identity and, over the years, have been involved in several Jewish projects, such as the establishment of a strong program of Judaic studies at the University of California in San Diego. Because he was a German national, he was transferred to Canada in July 1940 after the outbreak of World War II. As a 17-year-old, Cohn travelled as part of a British convoy moving through U-boat-infested waters to Quebec City in Canada, and from there, by train, to a camp in Trois-Rivières. He was at first held in detention in a camp near Sherbrooke, Quebec. This camp, as well as others, provided a small number of educational facilities that Cohn used to the fullest, and he finally succeeded in entering the University of Toronto. As a German national, the future Nobel laureate in chemistry was not allowed to enter the chemistry building, and so he opted for physics and mathematics. Scientific career Cohn received a wartime bachelor's degree in applied mathematics at the end of his one-year army service, having completed only two and a half out of the four-year undergraduate program. From the University of Toronto in 1945, he was awarded an MA degree in applied mathematics by Toronto in 1946. Cohn was awarded a PhD degree in physics by Harvard University in 1948, where he worked under Julian Schwinger on the three-body scattering problem. At Harvard he also fell under the influence of Van Vleck and solid-state physics. He moved from Harvard to Carnegie Mellon University from 1950 to 1960, after a short stint in Copenhagen as a National Research Council of Canada postdoctoral fellow. At Carnegie Mellon he did much of his seminal work on multiple scattering band structure work, now known as the KKR method. His association with Bell Labs got him involved with semiconductor physics, and produced a long and fruitful collaboration with Luttinger including, for example, development of the luttinger cone model of semiconductor band structure. In 1960 he moved to the newly founded University of California, San Diego, held a term as the physics department chair, and remained until 1979. It was during this period, he, along with his student Chanchal Kumar Majumdar developed the Kohn majumdar theorem related to Fermi gas and its bound and unbound states. He then accepted the founding director's position at the new Institute for Theoretical Physics in Santa Barbara. He took his position as a professor in the physics department at the University of California at Santa Barbara in 1984, where he worked until the end of his life. Cohn made significant contributions to semiconductor physics, which led to his award of the Oliver E. Buckley Prize by the American Physical Society. He was also awarded the Feinberg Medal for his contributions to the many-body problem. His work on density functional theory was initiated during a visit to the École Normale Supérieure in Paris, with Pierre Hohenberg, and was prompted by a consideration of alloy theory. Hohenberg Cohn theorem was further developed, in collaboration with Liu Zhu Sham, to produce the Cohn Sham equations. The latter is the standard workhorse of modern materials science, and even used in quantum theories of plasmas. 
In 2004, a study of all citations to the Physical Review Journals from 1893 until 2003, found Cohn to be an author of five of the 100 papers with the "...highest citation impact," including the first two. In 1957, he relinquished his Canadian citizenship and became a naturalized citizen of the United States. In 1963 Cohn became a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and in 1969, a member of the National Academy of Sciences. In 2011, he became an honorary member of the Austrian Academy of Sciences He was also a member of the International Academy of Quantum Molecular Science. Death Cohn died on April 19, 2016 at his home in Santa Barbara, California from jaw cancer, at the age of 93. Honors and awards Oliver E. Buckley Prize in Solid State Physics American Physical Society, 1961 Davison Germer Prize American Physical Society, 1977 National Medal of Science 1988 Nobel Prize in Chemistry 1998 Elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1998 Austrian Decoration for Science and Art 1999 Grand Decoration of Honor in Silver with Star for Services to the Republic of Austria 2008 Harvard University awarded him an honorary Doctor of Science May 2012 Topic. Selected publications W. Cohn, An Essay on Condensed Matter Physics in the Twentieth Century, Reviews of Modern Physics, Vol. 71, No. 2, pp. S59-S77, Centenary 1999. APS W. Cohn, Nobel Lecture, Electronic Structure of Matter Wave Functions and Density Functionals, Reviews of Modern Physics, Vol. 71, No. 5, pp. 1253–1266 APS D. Jerome, T. M. Rice, and W. Cohn, Excitonic Insulator, Physical Review, Vol. 158, No. 2, pp. 462–475 APS P. Hohenberg, and W. Cohn, in Homogeneous Electron Gas, Physical Review, Vol. 136, No. 3b, pp. B864 B871 APS W. Cohn, and L. J. Sham, Self-Consistent Equations Including Exchange and Correlation Effects, Physical Review, Vol. 140, No. 4a, pp. A1133 A1138 APS W. Cohn, and J. M. Luttinger, New Mechanism for Superconductivity, Physical Review Letters, Vol. 15, No. 12, pp. 524–526 APS W. Cohn, Theory of the Insulating State, Physical Review, Vol. 133, No. 1A, pp. A171 A181 APS W. Cohn, Cyclotron Resonance and de Haas van Alphen Oscillations of an Interacting Electron Gas, Physical Review, Vol. 123, pp. 1242–1244 APS See also List of Jewish Nobel laureates List of Nobel laureates affiliated with the University of California, Santa Barbara References External links Quantum Chemistry Comes of Age. The Chemical Educator, Vol. 5, No. 3, S1430417199-06333 7, doi, 10.1007 per seconds 00897990333a, copyright 2000 Springer Verlag New York, Inc. Freeview video interview with Walter Cohn by the Vega Science Trust 
Official homepage of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1998 Cohn's faculty website at University of California Santa Barbara. Retrieved November 11, 2006. Obituary Hohenberg, Pierre C., Langer, James S. 2016. Walter Cohn. Physics Today, 69 8, 64, Bibcode, 2016 PHT 69H, 64H, doi, 10.1063, pt.3.3274 Topic. Further reading Andrew Zangwill 2014. The Education of Walter Cohn and the Creation of Density Functional Theory. Archive, 1403.5164 Physics, Hist Ph. 